Hi guys, so I'm starting a new vlog because a new Chanel collection has come out and I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and take you guys along with me. So the Cruise collection for 2020 is now out. It came out today in Bond Street at least. I know they have different days at different stores but it is now released in the main Chanel store so that's where I'm heading. I am very excited to see it. The pictures look beautiful. I'm particularly intrigued by the grey colour which is stunning. I was like no more Chanel bags but I'm going to see... I'm gonna see what happens in store. I have heard conflicting things about the leather quality though. So I am taking my original jumbo to be able to compare it. I'm gonna try and film what I can in a kind of sneaky way. So I'm gonna take you guys with me now. Very quickly, my outfit of the day, I am just wearing my faux fur jacket, a cashmere sweater, Chanel jumbo, jeans, and my Stuart Whites and boots, excuse the brush on the floor. So yeah, let's go. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep aside night. I'm on this. It's boring. Oh, so we but look at the movie town. I love it. It's being refurbished. How stunning is that? I don't know if that, that's kind of not Christmas decorations, but you know, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that dress. Alright, we're going to head in. A London townhouse with all little windows for German Malone trees. I would quite like to live here. I don't think I'd fit, but I'd like to live here. So cute. Hi guys, so I'm back in my flat now and I thought I would do a little unboxing. I did buy something and I think I'm also going to film a little bit more. So I think this is gonna be a vlog, unboxing vlog, cause I am going to Heathrow next week and I'm hoping to vlog a little bit then. Um, but I thought I would do this unboxing because I'm traveling to the US and I'm not planning on taking this with me. And also I just wanted to unwrap it, so. Here is the box and I wasn't, I definitely had my eye on this. I knew I wanted to check it out, um, but I'd heard such mixed things about the leather that I really wanted to make sure because now with the price increases, it's a serious, serious purchase and it always was, but now it's more serious than ever. So um, I will touch upon kind of leather quality in a moment, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. These are the heaviest boxes. So here it is. It is a serious, serious box and bag. So you're probably gonna be able to guess what it is, but. Okay. I feel like I haven't done a proper unboxing for the longest time. This is very exciting. Okay. So it has the black tissue paper and the little sticker. Oh, that's what it looks like on the inside. There's the bag all nestled in. 
So on to the bag. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why these are such crazy things now that nerves involved as well, but ooh. So you'll be able to see that now, but let me slide the tissue paper off. Does it anyone else like to slide tissue paper off rather than take off the stick if they can avoid it? Yeah, they use a lot of stickers. I'm going to have to remove them. Okay, here it is. This is the Chanel 20C. So this is part of the Cruise Collection grey caviar flap with the champagne gold hardware. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Um, so I had been eyeing this collection for a little while now. I've been stalking it online, looking for photos. Uh, I loved, loved, loved the gray. And I've seen previous grays from Chanel, but they've always been a little bit dark for my liking. And then I saw this and I thought it was just so perfect, very, very pretty. But I heard very, very mixed things about the leather. Some people said it felt very plasticky, uh, quite cheap, quite flat. And I also kind of said after Chanel hit 5K, I was like, no, definitely not. And then I saw this color, so I was like, well, I'm gonna have to inspect it. Um, so I went in store, um, as I mentioned, I kind of took my Chanel Jumbo with me in black just to be able to compare the quality. That one is, gosh, I think nine years old now. So it's a pretty old bag, but the leather quality is so great. And that's really kind of what I compare the newer styles to. And so I took a long time looking at different variations of the same bag. I also wanted to look at the medium flat because as much as the jumbo is my favorite size, I was very not keen to spend over 5K on a bag. Um, so I looked at the cheaper options. They weren't that much cheaper, but I wanted to look at the small flap and the medium flap. I only actually ended up looking at the medium flap but the difference in kind of leather puffiness was crazy the medium flap was very kind of flat and it just didn't look that great and you could really see quite a difference I took a photo and I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the photo but the difference was very very apparent in person that one looked like a kind of very nice luxurious kind of puffy quilted bag and the medium one just looked just not quite as special I thought. So I immediately discounted the medium. I didn't want to spend that much money on something that I didn't think was just amazing quality and just beautiful in every way. Um, so I spent a long time trying this on. The sales associate that I had was very, very lovely and very patient. And then I ultimately decided to go for it. It was a big, big decision though, because as I mentioned, these are crazy expensive now. Um, I can't believe looking back at my two other jumbos, the price difference between them all. The first one I bought was 2,400. I think the my beige one was a little bit over 4,000 and this one is now over 5,000. So again, I'm not entirely sure that they're worth the money, um, but I do know that I love the style and I love this color combination and that's how they get you because they're like, well, you can't miss out, I guess. But I am really happy with it. In terms of the leather quality, I mentioned that I didn't think the medium flap was as nice, um, but on the jumbo flap, I do think the leather is nice. It does have a different texture to my black one though. I think that's because it does have a little bit of a shimmer, which is why I think there were some comments about kind of a plasticky feel. And I guess you could describe it like that. It's certainly not something that bothers me and I don't think it looks cheap, but it does have a tiny bit of shimmer. Um, nothing like my rose gold flap or anything like that, but there definitely is. It's not a completely kind of matte look, I don't think but I do think it seems lovely. And as I mentioned, the quilts are very shiny, very puffy. I really inspected both bags so much um, and I'm very, very happy with it. Less happy with the price, but I do think it's beautiful and for me, it was worth it. So very, very happy with this. Um, if you have any questions for me, then I'm happy to answer them. I did take a lot of photos, which I'll probably post on my Instagram and I'll try and insert some here as well. But yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know below.
<laughs> yeah, go for it, go for it. Go for it. Hi you guys, so I did make it to the US. I'm currently in Miami, and as you would have just seen, I did do a little bit of shopping at Heathrow. I didn't vlog quite as much as I wanted to. Uh, we were a little bit short of time, but I did get a little bit of vlogging done, and I did get something. Uh, the Chanel collections had just arrived, so the new one had arrived, I think, three days before, and they had just launched the holiday packaging. So I was super excited. I'm gonna show you what's inside in just a second, um, but it was the best shopping experience. It was so fun. The sales associates at the Chanel Terminal 3 boutique are so lovely. I was carrying with me at my Chanel Vintage XL tote and they were so enthusiastic about it. They asked me if they could take photos of it, share in their Chanel WhatsApp group. And I think uh, the tag on this or the tag on this kind of line of bags inspired the current collection. Um, so you can actually see a very similar tag on some of the new collection pieces, which is just very cool to see that they actually do kind of pull from the archives and really everything kind of comes full circle so it was very very cool they were so lovely they even gave me um, a little buffing cloth um, to keep it kind of polished and looking really good um, but yeah the staff are just amazing in terminal 3 in terms of what's inside so this is actually a giveaway prize um, that you can win in this video so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it the packaging this year is so pretty at first I didn't like it as much as last year's but in person, I feel like it really does pop. Not so much in photos, and I'm not sure about video or film, um, but it is really lovely. I love the fact they just continually reinvent the camellia. Just so pretty. And oh my goodness, here is the little packaging. How stunning is that? I almost don't want to open it, but I obviously have to show you what's inside. So I'm gonna try and be careful so that I can recreate the packaging for the winner. Beautiful thick ribbon. And this is a new season piece. So it just arrived as part of the Cruise 2020 collection. And uh, it is the card holder. How pretty is that? This is the only one that they had in stock in that store. This is the kind of Tiffany blue color. They did a very similar color last year, but this is a little bit more muted and subtle. Super pretty, a really nice kind of mint green. You do have, I feel like that's maybe champagne hardware. It's a little bit difficult to tell with the light. And I actually own this exact one in the navy caviar. So it is caviar, super durable. It just opens up. You have two card slots and then you have a little photo area, another slot. And then on the back, you have another card slot as well. This is such a useful piece. It can carry a surprising amount and it's just so beautiful and chic, I think so. I love this, I hope you guys do too, and you can actually enter to win this today. So all you have to do to enter, I made the entry criteria very simple. I have heard your guys' feedback. I know you don't like complicated giveaways. So all you have to do is one, be subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below saying that you would like to enter. Otherwise, I don't know that you've entered. And also hit the bell notification to make sure that you get updated whenever a video goes live. And I'll do a little kind of screen thing to show you how to do that. That's all you have to do. There is no Instagram or other social media entry. Um, all you have to do to enter is be subscribed, hit the bell notification to make sure you get notified about my videos and also comment down below saying that you would like to enter. The giveaway is open for three weeks and it is open internationally so anyone can enter. It is only one entry per person, so no need to leave multiple comments. It's just one entry and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. I will leave all the rules if you wanted to check anything or the closing date in the description section. The winner will be private message. They will also be announced back on this video in the description section. I will also announce it on my Instagram story. So I always get asked how you find out about the winner. One, I will private message you if you have one, but I also announce the winner's name in the description section. So check back after the close date. I will also announce it on my Instagram stories. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck to those of you entering. And with Black Friday right around the corner, I did also want to mention that my Black Friday mailing list is still open. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed so far. Um, if you've not heard me talk about this before, it's basically a mailing list to be alerted as soon as there are any big luxury 
beauty sales that have gone live. I'm going to be covering all of the major brands, so Saint Laurent, Valentino, Givenchy, uh, Mulberry, all the kind of popular ones and the ones that I love. And I'm going to be sending out alerts as soon as there are big sales that have just launched. So if you are in the mood for some Black Friday shopping, definitely subscribe to that. I will include the link down below. You just pop in your email address and then I will be sending out alerts starting from Monday of Cyber Week. So that is it. If you do have any questions for me, then leave me a comment down below. If you enjoy these Chanel shopping vlogs, please do give this a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.